I had a very weird high school experience because I was uncool, but I was still sort of well known among everyone in my year. You could argue that's because we were only a year of 170 students, so you know, you're bound to know or at least be aware of the existence of everyone at that point, but I think part of it was because I'm half Iranian, so I've got like a long surname, and it sort of became a running joke it, throughout my year that like teachers, when you, when a teacher hesitated on the register, you knew it was me. <laughs> but it's, people also just enjoy saying my surname to, to me, even now, there's people who like say it, they'll just announce my full name to me because they enjoy saying it, and it's like, okay. <laughs> But I was I was at least neutral with anyone, with everyone. I mean, I didn't have any enemies, with the possible exception of my ex best friend. But we just ignored each other. We didn't like arguing things, so I was at least neutral with everyone. I was basically Switzerland. So I I was part of the probably the uncle friend group. It was probably like the in terms of the hierarchy. It was probably like the. It was probably just above the weird kids because we were still weird, but we weren't just like, oh, <laughs> I mean, there was a blend. Sometimes we would like interact with the weird kids. We had sort of like a, <laughs> I imagine like this is just in the battlefield, bro. We had like an alliance and I'm talking about being Switzerland or whatever. But anyway, I'm part of the uncool kids, the ones that play video games all the time, but not like the, you know, large video games like FIFA or COD. They play like just in... Genshin or Ro I never played Genshin, but Roblox, Minecraft, yeah, mostly Roblox to be honest, and it would just, they also watched anime, I think all of them watched anime in my group, but I could never get into it, so I didn't, but I did sort of have friends in sort of every, every friend group, like even the football lads, for example, I was cool with a lot of them, because in year nine, I sort of started coming out of my shell, I started thinking, you know, there's no point being introverted all the time, because I didn't start self-improvement then, but I just realised that I was missing out on things, purely because I was socially awkward. So I wanted to join the school football team, because I started getting interested in football around that time, after 2018, when it was the World Cup, and uh, I asked... I think I asked one of the teachers that runs it what would be the best chance of me getting into the football team. He says, oh, we have practices every Wednesday evening in the hall. You know, if you go there, you've got the best chance of being in the team. I never ended up in the team, the line bugger, because it just never materialised. I don't know why. Maybe I was crap, but it seemed like the team was already established at that point, so I was a bit too late. But I'm playing in these practices on a Wednesday of course, to begin with, everyone's just like, you know, what's he doing now? Of course, there were people that were in my classes that I, like, spoke to, so it was all right. But, of course, being the <laughs> just in skinny fat or just, I think I was not even skinny fat. I'd lost weight by then. I was like, beanpole, beanpole brown kid. I got shoved in goal because people did not trust me being able to be a striker. So, eventually, I'm in goal and... I start getting better, you know. I would go with my other friends to the park and I was putting goal then because I was still crap at every other position. So eventually these guys at the football practice started respecting me because I got fairly decent in goal, you know. I was a sweeper keeper because I just run at people's feet and hope for the best and hope I didn't get kicked or you break this beautiful mosaic of a face. But I didn't pursue relationships or friendships with those guys, pursue relationships, hey yo, getting cheeky with the lads, <laughs> cheeky with the homies, <laughs> oh, jumping cringe man, well, I, I could have got, like, become decent friends with these guys, I could have left my other friend group, like I've done now, I've completely left the friends I had with high school, because they're just, they're not, they're not on self-improvement, they they're just not beneficial to me. I've made a previous video about it, about it the loneliness of self-improvement, if you are gonna want another story behind that, but I could have become friends with these football guys and then who knows, you know, I'm becoming friends with them. Maybe maybe they could have invited me to a to a party and then I would have been I would have been drinking and, and smoking and then maybe some stinky lass would give me a quick blowjob if I gave her a mint. Oh my god, crazy. I would lie if there wasn't a part of me, like maybe 10% of me that wanted that, but I think I've never been interested in that stuff really, 
because of the way I was raised. My mum and dad would not approve of that, and so they put those beliefs onto me. And, you know, I can sit here and say, oh, you know, I am i don't believe in drinking, I don't believe in this degenerate stuff, I was never, but the thing was, I was never invited to those things, like, because I was socially awkward. Like, had I, I believe that had I had got, you know, um, gotten close with those guys, I would have been invited to parties, and I could have, you know, got cheeky with a few girls if I wanted to. But being socially awkward, you just don't know what to do with yourself. Even if I was invited to a party, they'd probably, they'd literally, I'd be the weird kid invited to the party. They'd literally invite me as a joke. You know when, like, you see videos of, like, people having a party and then you just see the kid, like, chuffing in the corner, dancing, chuffing, twerking, because he's, like, <laughs> thinking that's what people do at parties. <laughs> that would have been me. I'd be like, oh, my God, you guys can invite me to the party. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> what might have been? What might have been? But like I said, I wouldn't have known what to do with myself. It would have just been a complete mess. But obviously I'm very glad that I didn't get invited to those things. Now I'm there's probably gonna be some incels and be like, Oh, you're just not attractive, so you wouldn't have gotten to invited to them. And it's like I don't believe in cell crap i think that's just a sad way to live your life to think everything's based on genetics because if i was attractive and tall if i was over six foot like i think i'm fairly decent i'm like maybe a six obviously i'm building a better physique but if i was attractive and tall and got invited to those parties would i what would happen i'd still be socially awkward and you know that's even weirder just being an attractive tall guy but you can't talk to girls like what's that about but even if I could talk to girls, I would have gone down a dark path. I would have become one of the chuffing goblins of the night that's like surrounded by girls who are just like screaming like, ah! <laughs> I just, it's, it's not a healthy lifestyle. Like, of course I could, you know, delve into that now and sort of experience it for myself, but I know, but it's just better if I don't do it. Like, I'm... I, you never miss what you didn't have, so it's just better if I don't indulge in it. But had I gone down that path, it would have been a very dark path, I think. I think, I don't know. Would I have gotten on self-improvement or would I still? Maybe my life would be even a complete more of a mess if I... Well, I say a mess. My life's never been a mess. I've just been very mediocre and felt a bit inadequate. And I needed something to, you know get it going what's the script say i've gone completely off track of what i was going to say but i'm grateful that i was uncool because it allows me to now that i'm developing myself it allows me to destroy every preconceived notion that all of my peers developed in me like i want to be the guy that goes to the high school reunion in a flashy car making more money than all the students and all the all the teachers combined, you know. I want that. I want to prove everyone wrong. And you should too. I hope this is... I mean, I, I don't know what this could have given you. It's just me ranting to the camera. One hour yapping session. <laughs> Not an hour, but... Uh, I hope you do well, bro. I hope you... If you are one of the guys that's been in that drinking scene, obviously it's... You know... It's hard to recover from degeneracy, but it's even more admirable, admirable if you do. Because imagine if I was in high school, like, down in there. Sometimes it can be better to be like, we all love a hero of, like, the underdog. Someone who was down in the depths and then they went to the top. Like, that's always more interesting than just a video gamer who was kind of mediocre, but still did well in school like me. But I'm going to put that puzzle in my life, fix that piece of the puzzle where I was just socially inept. Because now I have better confidence. I still I still overthink when I'm talking to people, which is something I'm working on. But I just need to get over it. I just need to man up. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video or gotten something from it. But it's just, uh, it's like, you're, you're, my, you're my therapist, bro. If I'm talking to younger Mac on the camera or I'm talking to you, we can have a one-way conversation. But anyway, thank you for watching. All the best, bro. God bless. Mwah.